We'll now hear from Councillor Candidate Stuart Fairbury. Thank you very much, Wendy. I'd like to uh, thank the organizers of this event for putting it together. I think it's very important for people in the community to have an opportunity to listen to the questions and answers from candidates for any municipal election. Um, my name is Stuart Fairgrave. I've been a resident of Heartland for more than 50 years. My wife, Nasid, and I uh, have raised our family here. We are both Heartland High School graduates. Um, we have lived and worked in the community our entire adult lives, and uh, we really look forward to this municipal election. Your first question. The recently tabled federal budget has earmarked funding for green initiatives. How do you see Heartland benefiting from these funds? Well, that's a good question. Um, it's important to realize that many things in the budget lack detail at this point in time. So going forward, it's important for us as a municipality to pay attention to the criteria for these types of programs. New Brunswick is, um, Heartland specifically, is poised for development, uh, not just along the riverfront, but also in green areas, properties that are owned by the town, along the Bedford Wimmick. Uh, there's been significant work done on the trail system there. We're very fortunate to have a provincial trail go through the center of our community. So, these federal funds for green initiatives will allow us to not just become energy efficient in some of our infrastructure, but also look at opportunities for parkland and green areas that can enhance tourism, both for visitors and for residents alike. Thank you, Stuart. How would you ensure continued growth and development in the town of Heartland while maintaining a favorable favorable tax rate for businesses and residents? I believe one of the largest challenges facing Heartland is an inventory of uh, newer single family homes. Heartland has done a great job with institutional housing for uh, seniors and for people that require nursing care services. We have an abundance of apartments over the last several years, but I think we have a shortfall in single family dwellings. There are uh, far more people that work in Heartland than live in Heartland, and part of that reason is we lack housing here. So I think it's something that the new council needs to look at very closely, and I think if we can grow our population, it will be better for the community as a whole. Thank you. This next question actually follows up on something you just touched on. Heartland has almost 2,000 jobs in the town, while less than 1,000 people live here. What should the town do to attract more people to live in Heartland and retain the residents we currently have? As I mentioned, uh, housing is the key component. People can't move to Heartland if there's no place to live. So we have to look as a community how can, we, how can we incentivize developers to invest their own money in our community to allow for increased housing opportunities? I think we have a sufficient land base uh, with which to do that, and I think there are a number of developers, both locally and in the region, that would jump at the opportunity uh, if, if the opportunity actually existed. The other thing that we need to be mindful of is uh, we need capacity. Our industrial park is full. So in addition to housing, we need to look at opportunities for further growth in business and industry. Thank you. How do you see the development of recreation facilities and tourism establishments in Heartland? And how would you balance that spending with transportation and utility infrastructure needs? <clears throat> well, people in the Heartland and Central Carlton region have been working for some time on a recreational complex that will replace the current Centennial Arena. I do believe that that will be forthcoming and that the entire region can benefit from that. But that's just one component. I believe that recreation uh, will transcend infrastructure. 
uh, but we do have to be mindful of our in infrastructure needs. I think in the last few years, you've seen Heartland be very judicious and wise in some of their infrastructure spending with regards to paving of streets and enhancement of our downtown area. I think that needs to continue, but it needs to be managed in an affordable and sustainable manner. Thank you. And then we have some closing remarks. Well, I'll be brief. Um, thank you for this opportunity again. Um, I've lived here most of my life and I've traveled outside of New Brunswick and outside of Canada. And the best part about traveling is always coming home. So Heartland is very important to me and it always has been, and it's important to my family. I cherish our community. I believe that I can contribute to town council in a very ethical and respectful way. And I look forward to that opportunity. On May 10th, I ask for your vote. Thank you very much. Thank you.